Hi there, this is Nikita Net, and I've got a big smile. A very big smile, because I've seen something I haven't yet. Not on my computer, at least. And that is, very simply, the OBS browser source. So apparently, on the latest update of, well, OBS, so OBS Studio 26.1.0 for Linux from the sources, the repositories of the OBS project. They included browser sources, which I haven't seen yet. Right? Here we go. This is that, and um, well, if I click here, add browser source, and you're not seeing that, that's not good. Right, the magic... Uh, has to stop add browser and you can just add a browser source which is wonderful so let's just do that quite quickly eh because i've got it on screen right here which is wonderful so let's see that's that screen let's just uh Let's be naughty and let's do it like that. And it doesn't work, or does it? Yes, it does, because here it is. Wonderful. That's wonderful. So, if you're well, let's uh, do that quite quickly. So, if you're online, Ubuntu, Xubuntu, Lubuntu, whatever, um, 18.04, and are using OBS Studio 26.1.0, check it out. Because I don't think I did something to install this plugin. It's now included, which is very nice. This is the key to net saying, no play with this. This is the difference between a professional and a semi-professional streamer. This is having resources available for, for example, graphics, which are flashy and nice. This is the difference between having dynamic and static scene, let's say an eye candy. I like this. So, this is Nikita Net saying thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.